Hi, welcome to Ramco TV. My name is Brad Vorey and I'm one of the automation specialists for Ramco. Servos provide fast and repeatable movements for your machine's processes. If not properly tuned, however, accuracy and speed can suffer. While the idea of tuning servos can be intimidating, Omron Automation's NJ Machine Controller and EtherCAT servos utilizing Sysmax Studio make tuning very easy. Let's take a look. One of the first questions that come up is should you tune with or without the load? A lot of it depends on the manufacturer's software and how they tune. Sysmax Studio is very flexible and allows me to enter in exact movements. So ideally, for best results, tune with the load connected. If you can't tune with the load connected for whatever reason, you can always initially tune it without and then retune it with the load later. You may think that tuning involves entering several parameters into the PID loop which would essentially be a lot of guessing and checking. In reality, the process can be much easier. Let's take a look at the GUI auto tuning feature in Sysmax Studio, which takes the guesswork out of the tuning process. Once online with the NJ, right click and choose online. Right click again and select auto tuning. Read the warning message and press OK. Choose automatic auto tune easy. Choose your appropriate device. In this case, this could be a horizontal ball screw. I usually leave the default rigidity setting. The top section shows the number of iterations you want this thing to move. You can move this via a position instruction or speed instruction, or if you want the drive to move itself, choose SysMac, read the warning message, and press OK. I'm going to choose cyclic steps so this thing will move back and forth. Encoder counts can be entered here, and this will be based off the encoder count resolution of the motor. That selection shows you how do you want to tune the motor. Press start. The motor should move back and forth, and it will change its gain settings to try and tune itself based off of the settings that you changed before. Once the criteria is met, a message box will pop up saying it is ready to go. Once the criteria is satisfied, press OK. And choose Next. Here are the gain settings which the drive has chosen. Press Save to EEPROM to save the values to the drive. Once the values are entered, be sure to cycle power on your drive to permanently save those settings. As you can see, in just a few simple steps, you can tune any G5 servo motor, which will allow you to set up your machine faster to operate at peak performance. Stay tuned to Ramco TV to see additional tips and how-tos using Omron Automation's NJ. Thanks for watching and be safe out there.